What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about Havasia, West Virginia in Fosnot 2024. If you like local festivals that bring tourists and money to rural Appalachian communities, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year again. A few weeks ago, I got to go down to Havasia, West Virginia for their annual celebration of Foshnot. Now, some truly amazing people have done some great videos on Havasia and Foshnot, West Virginia that I'll put down in the description of the video. The first one I'd highly recommend is Chipmunk. He does a lot of Fallout 76 related travel videos. Definitely go check out that one. And C27 Pin, my West Virginia road trip partner in crime, recently put out a great video about Foshnot. 2024. Support both of them, subscribe to their channels, and definitely go check out their videos. But first of all, why is there a Swiss village in the middle of West Virginia Hills, and what is Foshnot? Of all the places you can visit in West Virginia, probably one of the most unique is the Swiss village of Havasia. Located in Randolph County, West Virginia, about an hour south of Buchanan, Havasia, West Virginia is a community rich in history and traditions. Back shortly after West Virginia became a state, a group of German and Swiss immigrants moved from Brooklyn, New York to rural West Virginia and established the community in 1869. Noise. Now, initially, Havasia was made up primarily of farmers and herdsmen, but as word got out of the small alpine village nestled in the hills of West Virginia, more and more German and Swiss immigrants would move to the area. And eventually, carpenters, stonemasons, doctors, and even watchmakers would move to this village to get away from the hustle and bustle lifestyle of the cities to the more remote rural lifestyle of West Virginia. By 1875, a mere 12 years after West Virginia became a state, the town of Havasia had a population of 308. Havasia looks like a Swiss village that was teleported into the West Virginia hills. And along with the people, they brought their food, their culture, and their traditions. And by far the biggest celebration that the Swiss brought with them was Foshnot. Foshnot is the pre-Lent season celebration, very similar to Carnival or Mardi Gras. But it's Swiss and significantly less fringe, which means it's drastically better than Mardi Gras. Foshnot happens every year the Saturday before Ash Wednesday. It's an opportunity for people to come together, eat traditional Swiss foods, dance, celebrate the end of winter, and with being such a small rural community, it's not just a festival, but it's an opportunity for a lot of people to come back home, visit their family, visit classmates they went to school with, and at the end of the night, there is a massive parade where people don homemade masks, march through the town in a massive parade to a bonfire where they burn an effigy of Old Man Winter to celebrate the end of the winter season. Go into the woods, eat, drink, put on a mask, burn an old man to death, be a man. And this was the third year I was able to attend Foshnot and I was able to hang out with some friends I have made through the Fallout 76 community. Some of them I have spent time with before. Some of them this was the first time I was able to hang out with them. And this is the experience I had that weekend. So the Friday before Foshnot started out pretty uneventfully. I made the mistake a few months before Foshnot by telling everyone it was February 10th this year that that was going to be right around my birthday. So of course, they had to plan me a surprise birthday party. A Flatwoods Monster themed surprise birthday party. Please, please adopt a paper Braxy. There's so many of them. I think they might be starting to multiply. Please, just, just take one. Just take one of these cute little guys. And because they were throwing me a surprise birthday party, they felt the need to go through this elaborate plan in order to distract me, keeping me away from the bed and breakfast that we were renting. 
Let's be completely honest, I'm quite a clueless person. Y'all could have just asked me to build a fire and told me you found a cool rock in the woods, and I wouldn't have gone into the bed and breakfast for a good couple of hours. But the birthday party was completely awesome. C27 Pin made me a Flatwoods Monster Cake. I don't know if that's ever been done before. And she had contacted several of my friends and followers and asked them if they'd be willing to send me birthday goodies, and I got a lot of truly awesome stuff. Thank you all very much if you sent me anything for my birthday. I just thank you. I'm not going to go through the whole list of names because I know I'll forget people, but I got some really awesome stuff. And after spending a couple hours hanging out with these people, some of which I'd never met before, some I might get to see a couple times a year, we pretty much ended the night hanging out outdoors by the campfire and just winding down for the evening. And again, it was just a great way to end a night, a day, and really kick off the Fastnacht weekend. So Saturday was a very eventful day. As soon as I woke up, I started making pancakes for everyone because that's the one breakfast food I'm kind of okay at making. And the very next thing that happened, everyone got ready. We were getting ready to head actually to the town of Havasia. It was about five miles away from where we were staying. But one of the guests the night before had asked me how close it was to the nearest gas station. Their directions were telling them it was going to be about nine miles. But as we were going, the GPS redirected us a way that said it was going to knock four miles off of the trip. I, I wish there was footage of this somewhere. Um, do not go off of the two lane paved painted roads when you're in this part of the state unless you know exactly where you're headed because what should have been like a five, five mile trip turned into nearly an hour and a half expedition through the backwoods of super remote rural West Virginia. At one point, I think we were just driving down a creek bed. Like it was, the road was basically a three lane hiking trail. Like that's, that's the way the road was. I wish we had footage of it. Now, once we made it to the town of Havasia, we were able to check in. This was the first year that they sold tickets uh, to get into some of the events at Foshnot because the last couple of years, the turnout has been huge and they wanted to kind of limit the amount of people that could get into certain buildings and certain events during Foshnot. But we got there, we signed in, we got all that stuff taken care of, and immediately we started running into members from not just the West Virginia travel community, but also awesome members of the Fallout 76 community. And there was really good turnout this year. There were so many amazing homemade masks. And me and C27 Pin and some of our friends immediately made a beeline to the restaurant in town, the Hute, because she had never gotten to eat inside the restaurant before. Which, let's be honest, the food there is always amazing. The service is always amazing. And they have the inside the restaurant decorated with just antiquities from the town throughout the history of the town, including some very old, original homemade Foshnot masks. Uh, it's really an amazing experience. If you ever get a chance to go down there, if you want to truly explore all parts of the town, the best time to go probably isn't during one of their big festivals, but definitely visit Havasia if you ever get a chance. As the day went on, as the sun started going down, people started lighting their candles, they started putting their masks on, for the parade through town. Now me, C27 Pen, and Ginger Snap 45 ended up almost at the very front of the parade heading towards the bonfire. We didn't get to see a lot of the masks, but we were at the very front of the bonfire. So that was a really awesome experience, getting to be right up front there, getting to watch them throw Old Man Winter directly into the fire. Burn him. Burn him. 
was really cool and after that we went into the the community center for the dance and of course more amazing food so after stuffing our bellies and <laughs> dancing a little bit there there have been reports that i did some dancing that's a that's an urban myth that's not true didn't happen so after stuffing our bellies and taking part in some dancing some people say that i even danced that's an urban myth completely untrue there's absolutely no evidence of that go away we made our way back to the b and b where again we just got to hang out and socialize uh, it's it's really awesome getting to hang out with members of the fallout 76 community especially in a setting like havasia because of course we all kind of have the similar passion we all kind of like the same things and it's really weird how quickly we all connect with each other even though a lot of us only get to see each other a couple times a year some of us really had never hung out before so again it was a truly amazing experience if you ever get the chance get a group of friends together head down to havasia if you can Go during Foshnot. It's a one-of-a-kind experience that I'm sure you will remember forever. And if you like this type of content, if you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to the channel, sharing these videos, leaving a like, leaving a comment always helps. And until next time, don't forget to stay wild, stay wonderful, and I'll talk to you later. Take me home to the brain. Oh